obviously walking in there, when that door swings open and you see 30 inmates all in their orange jumpsuits, all looking at you, <laughs> that is terrifying. And I remember in my moment, just in that moment, just looking and it Yeah, it's a feeling that can't be described. It's a, a helpless feeling. So when you walk in, uh, the first thing they do is they, they start asking you questions. Uh, they want you to read the rules um, of the range. Usually the, uh, the guy that's in charge of the range, the range leader will come up to you and, and start talking to you. Um, I had sat down and I, I started explaining my situation. And, and obviously you have to be honest when you're in there about why you're in there. And I was super scared, super, super scared. And then I heard my name. I heard somebody say, hey, Dave. And then it was a familiar face in front of me. And I felt a little bit better. Um, just somebody that I knew that uh, that really helped me. Um, started explaining the rules to me a little bit. Um, explained to me that I had to take another shower. That was just one of the rules you have to do when you, you get in there. And he just started, you know what I mean, do this, do that, don't be mouthy, keep yourself, just the normal, normal, everyday rules. But what helped me, though, when I was in that shower, so what happens is they give you your bunk, you've got your big mattress, you throw it on your bunk, you answer some questions. One of the guys asked me, hey, do you have anything? Meaning, do I have any drugs? And uh, I had no idea what that meant, because I had never been in jail before. So... I go, yeah, I uh, have like a toothbrush and this little deodorant that they gave me. And some of the guys started laughing and I go, oh, no, man, I didn't, I didn't even know that that was a thing. So I'm in the shower and just out of my mind because every movie, every prison scene and every, it's just, you got, I got Shawshank Redemption. I'm going through everything in my brain. And then there's, there's windows so there's like um, maybe four feet of metal and then there's a window so you can see into the shower. And there's like those uh, clear meat, you know, like when you go into, it's like curtains, but they're clear plastic that hang down with slats, slits, whatever that word is. So I'm showering and I turn and I look and everybody is looking at me. And this is maybe an 45 minutes after I got in there. So I'm showering, I turn, everybody's looking at me. Now, you only get a couple channels um, at the Ottawa jail, and one of them is CBC. So what had happened was, while I was in the shower, out of pure coincidence, one of my Dragon's Den updates goes on, is on TV, Dragon's Den's on, because um, CBC's, uh, it's watched a lot. Just because it's one of those channels, you get the news, blah, blah, blah. So right away, but when I see everybody looking at me, I'm like, oh, this is it. I'm going to die. This is where I, this is the scariest. Every thought is going through my mind. Just terrifying thoughts. And uh, one of the guys pokes his head in the door. He goes, hey, man, like you're on TV right now. That kind of opened the doors up for more conversation, um, explained to people who I was and what happened. And, uh, and that actually helped me because um, when you're in jail, you want friends. You want people to like you. You want no issues. Um, so I was actually invited to play poker. Uh, they play Texas Hold'em and stuff like that for like kind of commissary for chips, chocolate bars, stuff like that, fruit cups, whatever things in your lunch, donuts, <sighs> sticky bun day. Sticky bun was yeah. Sticky bun was a big day. That was a big poker game. And it was just it it, it eased me. Uh, there was still a tension in there that you couldn't really explain. But it made me feel at ease that, okay, I can talk to these guys. Like, this isn't, uh, just be myself, be funny, make them laugh, help out, do whatever you can. And that's exactly what I did. Um, I just started, uh, yeah, just intro introducing myself to everyone. And I, I tried to be friends with everyone, uh, or at least friendly with everyone. Um, you don't put your issues on other people. Do your own time, and you're going to be fine. Ask permission to use the phone my first day there. I asked permission. Nobody else wants to use it because I'm a new fish. I don't want to step on anyone's toes. And that's how it started. And then um, 
And then mealtime came. First time I was there for a meal. I really hope the Ottawa jail isn't still serving those meals. Uh, so everything is steamed. No texture, no nothing. Uh, most of the time we get some of our food to be moldy or you could just smell that it wasn't right. So uh, I was in there total for just over two months. And I lived on commissary. I lived on chips, granola bars, beef jerky, things like that. Because the food was awful. I mean, unedible awful. There were some things. There were some breakfast items you could eat. The bagel, things like that. Um, I actually wouldn't get up for breakfast. I would sleep through breakfast and I would trade my breakfast with uh, one of my buddies. And I would take the bagel and cream cheese. He'd take everything else <laughs> for the desserts. <laughs> For his desserts, for his supper desserts. And then I'd usually eat those or trade them for other things. Or I'd use them to play poker. But yeah, you can't... Like, the first day I sat down... Uh, before, actually, well, the first day before I started trading my meals, I actually realized that breakfasts were the best. Um, well, in my opinion. So that's why I used it to trade things. You know, the cereals, the milks, things like that were still good. But being invited uh, to play t play poker right away, I was I love Texas Hold'em. I play with every set, every group of sets of friends I've ever, every group of friends I've ever had, I would play poker with them. So it, it, they learned quite quickly that I was pretty good. And uh, anytime I'd kind of think about the hand and I would raise, a lot of them would fold. So I bluffed a bunch at the beginning, and then a couple of guys caught on, and it, it got fun. Well, it was always fun. I also played a lot of chess. Uh, I sucked at first. I played um, uh, <laughs> played this uh, one guy who was the range leader. I think I played him 50 times. He beat me. I beat him once maybe. And I, yeah, he beat me just every other time. There was another guy, uh, Marty too, who would um, just destroy me. I think I beat him once as well. But I got good. I, I got really good. Um, yeah, chess, poker. Um, some TV and books. I, I, let a, I read a lot of books. Um, anything to pass the time. That's, that's just it. I got to be the librarian a couple times where I would go and grab the books, and I like that a lot. Well, 